What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I'm your host, Khan, and um, in today's episode, we'll be making something I never had before, but uh, here's very good. Here's very delicious. Uh, called the meatloaf. Yes, you guys know about the meatloaf, but I somehow never ate it before. Why? I don't know why. So it's gonna be my first time making it and my first time eating it. I hear a lot of good things about this dish. And here's very good and very easy. First, what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut an onion and garlic, onion, and ginger. We're gonna saute just a little bit. Just a little, uh, real quick saute. Like half an onion, I think is good. You guys think so? Half an onion? Cut this in half, like this. I'm gonna take a smaller half of this red onion. We're gonna chop our onions pretty small. So we're gonna do this. Like so, I hope you guys can see. Sideways like that. There we go. I always like to use a red onion because red onion out of the onions is lesser carbohydrates. A couple cloves of garlic, like two or three. Smash that, take out the outer layer. So about three cloves of garlic that we're gonna mince up. Mince away. And we're gonna do a knob of ginger. Um, I think a knob like this is good enough. About two tablespoons worth of ginger. We can get a spoon and just spoon out the skin like this. And we're gonna grate this in, in a bit. We can turn this on. We're going to be sauteing our onions and garlic and ginger. So let it heat up a little bit and uh, put about a tablespoon or two tablespoons of oil. I'm using olive oil. So olive oil is better for you. Once the pan, the frying pan is heated up, we can throw in our garlic and our red onions. And we take our knob of ginger and we grate on top of it too. All that in there, and in here, all that good stuff in there. Get the aroma coming out, the flavors coming out really good. Smells delicious. Yeah. Mm, smells wonderful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, I think that should be good for now. You can turn it off, or we'll just leave it here like that. Now we're gonna mix our meat together. So first I'll put in my dry ingredients first in here. About half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt. Not that much of salt. So white pepper, about half a teaspoon. Coarse ground black pepper, about a quarter of a teaspoon to a half a teaspoon. Garlic powder, this is just a normal ingredient. There we go, about a quarter teaspoon or half a teaspoon. Or about a teaspoon of this, Cajun seasoning. Cayenne pepper, it might seem like it's gonna be spicy, but it's not. About half a teaspoon. I got some dried dill that we can put in. About a teaspoon. Mix this up. That's pretty well mixed, I think. Now for our wet ingredients. Some mustard. About two tablespoons of mustard. I got some Primal Kitchen Zero Sugar Ketchup. That's zero sugar and it's uh, organic. So that's about a quarter, quarter cup ketchup. Some olive oil. About two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna crush some, some uh, pork rinds. And we're gonna throw it in here to mix it with our beef. So this is gonna act as our breadcrumbs. You can use this instead of breading for a uh, fried chicken if you want as well, and that's very good. Low carb breadcrumbs. I'm gonna do a handful of this. Just throw it in there like that. We get two handfuls, about like half a cup. And we can throw in our beef now. Throw that in there. About two pounds of ground beef. I'm gonna do two large eggs. There we go. I'm gonna do all of this pork skin that I crushed. Pour it all in there. I think that's about a little bit over half a cup, one whole cup almost. And our salted onions and garlic and ginger that we did earlier. Throw it in there too. 
I have a carrot, like half a carrot and I have a dice up, I'm gonna throw in here as well. First gonna skin it. You know what, instead of dicing it, I'm gonna grate it in here with this grater. So just grate, grate, grate like this. I'm not sure how much carrot this is, but uh, you know, put as much as you want. That's good, I think. So you take a carrot, throw it in there, like so. I think I'm gonna do another egg as well, so make it three large eggs. There we go. All right, mix this all up. Oh yeah, this is a lot better. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, fish sauce too. This is zero sugar fish sauce. About a tablespoon. Zero sugar fish sauce. Um, it's only made with anchovies and salt. I don't know where you can get that. You can probably get this at your local uh, Asian Mart. They won't sell it at the regular American Mart. I know that. Get out your red pan here. Pour a little bit of nonstick spray. If you have spray, I, I ran out of spray, so. Just put a little bit of oil on, spread it around so it doesn't stick. It's okay to get your hands a little messy. That's what cooking is all about. Nice and non-sticky. Perfect. Now we take our meat here and we start put it in. This is some meatloaf. Pan it down evenly. I have some tomato sauce here. I'm gonna do a little cover. What do you call that? A little glaze on top. So I'll use this Hunt's tomato paste. I got, I'm gonna get like half of this. It's probably like a Three ounces, put a little bit of a fish sauce in there. Just a little bit. Put a little water in, uh, about a couple of tablespoons of water. So we're gonna thin out the paste. I have some uh, monk fruit sweetener here. It's kind of golden brown sugar. And uh, it's zero calories, zero carbohydrates, zero net carbs anyways. It's only made from uh, erythritol and monk fruit. Put some of this in here. About a teaspoon of sugar, maybe less, half a teaspoon. Or no food sweetened and not, not, not sugar. Because uh, we're on a low carb diet and we don't do sugar. Maybe a little bit more water. And a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Get the acid flowing and sourness in here. Looks like ketchup. So we take this and we're gonna put it on top of our meatloaf. I have the oven already preheated to about 350 degrees. So actually I'm gonna do 40 minutes and I'll take this out and I'll put cheese on top and do another 20 minutes. So it's gonna be a total hour of baking, okay guys? All right, just right in there it goes. It's been about 40 minutes and we're gonna take this out and we're gonna put cheese on top. Oh, that smells so good. Uh, Whoa. Take our cheese. I'm gonna use mozzarella cheese. About a cup or so. Sprinkle on top like this. All right, we're gonna open back up our oven here. And we're gonna throw back in our meatloaf with cheese on top now. Ooh. I'm gonna turn this up to like 400 degrees. There we go. For about another, we're gonna put it in there for another 20 minutes, okay guys? Yeah, 20 minutes is good. It's been 20 minutes and we're gonna take our meatloaf with cheese out the oven. Come on. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, check that out. So brown. Oh my gosh. Okay, we wanna make sure that it is at least 160 degrees in the middle, Fahrenheit. So we're gonna take our meat thermometer here, stick it in the middle. Make sure it goes up to 160. Should be good. Yeah. Well done. Ooh, the cheese is crispy now. Done. So we're gonna let this cool for about, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Let it cool down a bit before we eat it.
take a slice out. Two of these things here. Ah, there we go. Let's get a spoon here. Have a bite at the bottom. Alright you guys, try this at home. This is so good, so delicious. The flavor is so intense. The ketchup makes it pretty sweet. It's so good. Oh my god. If you guys like or dislike, comment down below, comment down below, share the video, and subscribe. If you do all that, you enter to win a $20 gift card. I'm gonna pick two people to win $20 gift card when I reach 500 subscribers. Alright guys? Thank you guys, have a good one. Delicious. Wow.